Okay, um, let me show you this uh, this code here, and and so we get this file here. We get a file name function that will just use file dialog to get the name of a file that you select. So uh, this is the code, and uh, this is just a snippet that I want to add to my collection here of snippets with Python. But what I do really want to do is to uh, take this other um, graphic user interface here made with Kinter um, that I previously made in another post. I showed you how to do it. And it's just the list box and the text box uh, uh, made with Kinter and so I want to use it to show my snippets. So uh, inside of my uh, code here that I want to show you and so here it is and uh, you see that uh, I got some different uh, method in here and it's and as you can see there's a frame to show the frame the list box the the text box etc and it's called with this this with this the class win is called with this win instance where you get the the title of the instance plus a version of this and i want to add now this dot pi version to pi arguments to add it because I want to show just the Python uh, Python files, so I'm gonna insert uh, make a function into this listbox method, and for every file in OS list here, so this OS list here will take the all the files that are in the actual dir, but I just want to take just the files that ends with the file extension that is this arguments.py that I've just passed in my instance and then I wanna insert into um, the list box the each file in the list so you can see here I'm showing them and then I want to um, now I need to well I wanna change the name to py snippets into the version here you got it and so another thing that I want to do is that when I click, uh, when I select one of the file in the list, I want to show them, I want to show the content into the, uh, into the text box. So I'm going to get the number of the, f of the file that I selected with core selection. And then I want to get the name of that file with uh, dot get and the file number so the number of the um, of the item that I selected in the list box once I get the file name that I selected I open that file name as file and I read the content with file dot read and now I must put this content into the text box so for this I think I'm gonna make an I'm gonna first delete what's inside the text box if I previously um, put some content in in the text box so I wanna then show the content of another file I got to delete it, the previous first and then insert the new content and so I'm gonna call here uh, I'm gonna use the method bend to show the content and I am going to I'm making some um, try and now at the end and you need to use to bind this list box to the selection you get to use this double angular uh, parenthesis with list box select and then the uh, the function that you will use that is this show content and you need to put an argument as events and so at the end you will see that when you click uh, when you select the box, the text box, this uh, function will be called. So that and this is the function that we done previously to show the content of the selected uh, item here. In it will show the content in this 
text box. So that's all to make this Py snippets app that will get all the um, all the Python file in this case, but you can use txt file whatever you want. You have to put them as an extension at the beginning, and you will see all the other files and the content of the files so that you can collect your snippets with your own app. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time.